Hi YouTube. Hi YouTube, it's Alex and today we're going to talk about something a little different today. Here with me I have some pony plushies. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, I am a big fan of the My Little Pony community and the show. So um, I specifically collect Pinkie Pies just because she's my favorite character and I also happen to be a Pinkie Pie cosplayer. So um, today I'm going to go over the different types of plushies that are available on the market, you know, some of the more popular ones I have with me here today. Um, let's start out with some of my little guys. Okay, so first off I have Aurora, which are these two fillies right here. They have a little bit of a sparkle to them, and the mane is completely, I guess you'd say a polyfiber blend really soft, really cute, she's even got a little cutie mark. Um, as far as how canon these ponies are, they look really similar to, you know, if you're going for a more canon Pinkie Pie. Uh, they've got, you know, the correct eye color, which is sometimes hard to come by on some of the models, I know that. Um, they have, you know, the more correct colored mane, magenta rather than like a hot vibrant pink um, it says that she's surface washable and these guys are made in China but these are Aurora plush and this little one actually came in her own bag so this one's really cute and this one was actually a gift um, I believe I bought this one myself though she's a little larger like this is like your three to five inch little guy and then this is about I don't know when I say a little less than a foot she's cute though um the only issues I have with the Aurora plush is if you're looking for something where the glitter is consistent the glitter is only on one side of this polyfiber fabric she's really soft though it's great if you don't want to have to worry about brushing and all that good stuff um I guess another issue I would have with these Aurora plush is, you know, the hair is different. It's almost like a dreaded look to Pinkie Pie, like the dreadlock thing. Cause each hair is a separate piece, which I can understand why they would do that to get her look, but um, it is not something I particularly like about this model. Uh, the bottom of them, you got the little emblem on the, the license emblem on the foot which is awesome. She's got her cutie mark, you know, same surface washable made in China. So this is a Royal plush. Um, the little, little guy here, this is ATY Beanie Baby. And they are licensed. Pinkie Pie, it says inside. Um, all that good stuff. I still have her tags on her. It's TY. I can't remember where she's made. It doesn't say, not from what I can see, but my guess is probably China. Um, when I got this one, she was a gift. Again, I think she was a birthday gift. And um, the thing I noticed about TY when you go to select a lot of these guys, their hair will either be ru rubber banded so it's not as messy, or it'll be really messy. Like, even if you're looking for a pony with, say, a straight look to the hair, like, um, Twilight. But, you know, it's Pinkie Pie, so the, the fluffy, messy mane is okay. Uh, she's also got a cutie mark. Not as detailed as, say, these Aurora plush. Uh, she's got nothing on her feet. The realistic polyfiber hair kind of thing. Um, the eyes on this one are different. They are a, you can't see it in the camera, but they're a glittery thread and it's a darker blue than what's on the Aurora plush. The Aurora plush looks a lot more similar to the show if you want to go for a canon plush. Hers are a little darker, which are okay, but it's not something I would have personally picked had this not been a gift, although she's awesome and I do love collecting my Pinkie Pies. Okay, so those are the little guys. Um, let's move on to the big Chulupa here. This is a Build-A-Bear plush. These guys are really popular right now. Um, on the Build-A-Bear line, I believe they've released nearly all of the main six at this point. Um, 
they're starting to release the CMC, which they're not the type you can actually make. I believe you just buy the plush, kind of like what they did with Spike when they released Twilight. Uh, okay, so it, let's get to the details on her. She's got her Build-A-Bear tags on the back. She has the little signature Build-A-Bear tag here with the heart and the paw. Um, her hair is the polyfibrous brushable thing. My friend also got Rainbow Dash um, when I was with her. And uh, the hair on these tends to be really gross at the ends. Like, I love the plush and stuff, but it's really difficult to maintain a nice-looking mane. My friend actually took a really low-heated iron and straightened out Rainbow Dash, which looked great. But she also had to take some length off of it just because the ends were so, I guess, gross. And that was before she had even straightened it. So, um, you know, this is a very plasticky feeling to it. And, uh... As far as how canon the hair color is, rather than the magenta, she's like a hot pink. So she's really cute. She's pretty canon. Um, I love the size of these guys because, you know, they're, they're nice and a lot of older fans of My Little Pony will enjoy these because they're, they're great for bigger hands. Um, so her cutie mark is here. Hers is a little bit more detailed than the TY and even the Aurora plush. And, uh, she's really cute. Her eye color is pretty canon. She's got a lot more detail in them. Well, almost the same amount of detail as the Aurora with the different colors here. Um, so she's cute and she's pretty canon. And she has to be probably one of my favorite of them all. She has no markies on her hoofs. Um, I know they make clothing for Build-A-Bear style ponies. And um, I've seen it, and it's cute, but, you know, I prefer my ponies to look moody. Anyway, so uh, th as far as custom plushies go, there's a lot of them on the market. Uh, they're more of a posable plush sculpture, if you really want to go in there. I've seen people who put wiring in them so that they can move. I've seen people who just will give you the pattern to buy if you want to make one yourself. Um, there's a lot of artists out there when choosing a custom po pony plush that you're going to spend a little bit over a hundred bucks on most likely if it's you know a one-of-a-kind piece. You want to do your research. You want to um, you know check the forums on people that have been recommended. Um, I've seen quite a few on Etsy. Etsy's a good place to check. Sometimes eBay too. Um, there will be like well, one of a kind plush that's being sold only on eBay or being auctioned off for charity. So you check into that. And uh, DeviantArt also has a lot of pony plush artists that you might want to check out as well. But um, so these are this, the guys that I have for now. I uh, will definitely post anything else if I get any more pony plushes in the future. I know Aurora is coming out with some sitting ones uh, sometime in 2014. So keep your eyes open for those on the market, and thank you so much for watching.